Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this bullet cam effect. So here is the preview. So actually this bullet cam effect is something we had already worked on uh, previously but since I moved to the ALS ca character the camera system is different in ALS so the bullet cam was broken. So today I'm going to restore that. Yeah, so let's see how to do that today. Okay, so this bullet cam feature is something that we had already worked on previously and after switching into the ALS, it got broken. So see still this slow motion effect and everything is working but just the bullet cam is not working and you also see we get some errors when it tries to activate the bullet cam effect by the way bullet cam effects is only available for the sniper which is this m82 so you have to have sh do a headshot in order to get the sniper uh, bullet cam effect with the sniper m made to a sniper otherwise you would not get that okay so to get started I need to open the m to blueprint because that's where I activate the bullet camera so here I have this toggle bullet cam which I call when we emit the bullet and when a headshot is detected using this on bullet hit so this is where it happens and I have already shown all the steps that I implemented everything you see here so I'm not going to explain any of these stuff just I'm just going to fix the head uh, bullet cam effect okay so first I implemented this system to get the camera component from the character and then attach it to the basically this spring arm which I had attached to the bullet so it follows the bullet but in ALS camera is handled in a, in a rather different way it's not just a component in the player character therefore we can't really access the camera component so instead of what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna add a camera So this spring arm at the end of this spring arm like this so because of this scale camera seems small here but it doesn't matter the scale of the camera doesn't really matter so then when I want to enable the bullet camera so I'm just gonna delete this get camera component from the player and attaching it to the bullet string arm part and also this set field of view part as well because they are not useful now so let me delete that and reconnect then get this camera and also get player controller set view targeted blend so here we are going to switch the camera I think uh, we have enabled this and new view target is not actually camera 
itself that means this actor so it will get the camera that is inside this gun okay shall we test if the attaching part works see it's working now we don't really need that dot I will fix that but oh now the camera does not get detached and also we have this uh, these errors as well that's because of these we don't have camera components so we can can we just do this yeah okay uh, but i think we can statistically keep these uh, settings without dynamically changing because this camera is only used when we are in the bullet cam but uh, let's look into that later yeah also right uh, now repossessing the camera uh, let me check this errors are on first oh it was not a headshot yeah the camera effects are there right errors are not there there you go so to reattach the original ALS camera manager what we can do is if I check let me first check the player controller so here as the default player camera manager we have this ALS camera manager this is the camera manager so but it still since I can't really find the camera to just like we did this set view target with blend we can't do the same thing with the ALS manager so what we have to do is um, this is at the end this is where we need to disable the bullet camera so we have this character which is an actor we can get the controller again and do a process so it will reinitialize the default camera Wait. And as the in pawn, we this is since this is an actor object. For this one time, we this has to be a pawn. So let me just pass to a pawn. I don't really like to do castings, but this is it's not like that we are casting this in every frame so it's just one time when we need to switch back so it should be fine in terms of performance right now it should work yeah it's okay and the next thing, as I said, next thing I want to fix is this reticle. I don't need this dot uh, when I am in the scope mode. And also, there is another bug. If I right click here and switch to the sniper, 
I directly go into the aiming mode but the reticle is also there so we in order to fix that for MA2 we don't really need the reticle most of the time so set reticle mode here if I make this height let's see wait let me right click and press 3 mm, it's still there where do we call this if I bypass this branch because most of we don't really need the reticle for the sniper right click press 3 no I think something else is overriding perhaps in the parent gun so what if I add a small delay here alright now it's gone okay so so i'll just leave it like this no matter what we don't need to show the reticle for the sniper and also uh, the widget weapon widget in order to hide the dot where is the ui here widget weapon so here is the dot now it's the cross dot is here mm, i can when we want to set the visibility of radical we can hide that too along with the radical so now for other weapons we will have the dot For sniper we don't and it works nicely with the bullet cam too okay so that's how bullet cam works and I think I had few more options like uh, press shift and it will show the Mm, predicted point of heat but I will look into those things in another episode and I'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye